Welcome back. Time for some uh, funny content on the funny reddit, so... Let's go. Since my bathroom bo door broke, I don't get to poop alone anymore. What you looking at? <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> what the fuck? <gasps> the intense eye contact of the bulldog. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know what to say. <laughs> you need to get that door fixed, man. <laughs> Gotta get them all confused from an early age. Quantum entanglement for babies. <laughs> Funnily enough, that is the same face you see in lectures. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, good job, Dad. But maybe start with something easier. Welcome to Calculus 101. <gasps> Syntax error. <laughs> oh my god. Is <laughs> is defeated expression. <laughs> the thing is, I can make mistakes like that too. I try not to and usually not, but like, this is not completely unusual that, you know, sometimes you're just so busy doing that you don't even stop to question what the fuck are you even doing? And I tend to be a guy who just uh, questions themselves quite a lot. But, you know, I think these mistakes can be done. <laughs> but holy shit. <laughs> oh. Well, the good news is she's at the right place. Uh, she definitely needs this class. Living in an apartment. Desire to have a roommate. Uh, fire alarms. <laughs> Mishaps. Uh, sex you've had. <laughs> Zero. Sex you've heard. Goes up all the time. How sure you are that a family of voter buffalo <laughs> lives above you. <laughs> <laughs> Desire to not live in an apartment. <clears throat> Maybe I was lucky with apartments, but in my experience, apartments are kind of cool. I think uh, just houses are safer bets, but it's easier to be in a central location when you live in an apartment. It makes it easier to uh, move around uh, without a car. So I kind of have a preference for apartments because of that. But yeah, this is not super... It, it Like living alone in an apartment is clearly superior to living with strangers in a house. But I guess like... I know, <laughs> but it can suck, I, I suppose. It can suck. The power of makeup. Look at that. A potato uh, made to look like just like any other party girl. Uh, I don't know, that would be probably considered a, an 8 out of 10 or maybe a 7 out of 10. So... <laughs> and I do have a theory that if you just take away the makeup, uh, I might, with my current mindset of what I'm used to, I would say guys are kind of even better looking uh, than women. Or at least, well, at least they can't really hide that. So, <laughs> so God damn it. That's pretty impressive. Crazy sore muscles, but no bathtub. Improvise, adapt, overcome. So you're... Big ideas just to sit in a box. That wouldn't work for me. The box is too small. Or at least I like to think so. I think that would be too small for me. Or at least it would be super uncomfortable. Wait. So she jumped into the bath uh, with her necklace. And uh, her phone may not fall in. But it might. I don't know, man. Do you really want to take a bath so much? Is there an like, alternative? I don't know. Maybe I... No. Like, I, I, I never really want to go and take a bath. I guess. Like, I don't have that like, Oh my god, I gotta take a bath. Or like, just gotta chill in the bath. And I work out, okay? So, what the hell? My mother-in-law just served me this piece of cake. Die. That's not very subtle. 
<laughs> that's not does this really count as passive aggressive i don't think so this is just straight up aggressive <laughs> it's probably poison too so i would suggest shoving the plate away just to be safe and say you know what i'm full you know i don't eat cakes oh shit i got the perfect excuse uh i, I don't really eat cakes I, don't, I try to avoid sugar okay Oh my god, I got the perfect excuse not to get poisoned. But the food before most likely wasn't just a cake. I was poisoned before. <laughs> so, uh, just call an ambulance just to be sure. Colonoscopy tomorrow, rate my setup. Lame. Very, very lame. <laughs> Small screen, controller, Jesus Christ. I guess if it really comes down to it, that I do prefer the controller over, uh, like, just pointing with my fingers on the screen, so... I mean, yeah, if you don't have a table, and if you can't put down at least uh, a wireless keyboard, or somehow it just the app can't use it, but it should. Like, if you cannot even put down a wireless compact keyboard, and I guess you might need a mice too, so... I guess you might need some... You need more space, I, I guess, guess. So maybe the control is not completely hopeless in cases like that. But that's, that's the only point. If you don't have space. In this case, it might be acceptable. But I have one uh, big problem here. Why the fuck you have a candle? It just seems like something that those those would do who just take pictures like i would never do shit like this if if i if i was you know i was going as low as using a controller small screen okay you know i was doing this i would never put the fucking candle there like what's the fucking point even if it's a fucking santo candle i don't care about your excuses it just makes no fucking sense candle is dumb you have you have a fucking light on you don't need a fucking candle. If you need some air freshener, then then I don't know. I, I guess you can get that, but don't burn a fucking candle. No, not acceptable. I'm gonna take a shower. Do you care to join me, honey? There is a gun in the footlocker in the garage. If I ever say no to that question, I want you to use it on me. <laughs> God damn it. I would probably say, no, I'm not dirty. What are you talking about? I have a very strict uh, schedule. I don't just shower randomly. I'm not good at signals. <laughs> My perfect Valentine day, I'm at home. Three cell phones in front of me. Fielding a desperate calls from people who want to buy one of the 50 restaurant reservations I made over six months ago. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Holy shit. And they probably would. Oh my god, this is kind of smart, I guess. <laughs> but, I don't know. <laughs> like, just a newsflash for you. Why do you... Why do people care about Valentine's Day? It is just totally arbitrary. If Valentine's Day was not a thing... But can you justify it in any way? Like, the thing is, if you want, uh, like, just a once-a-year occasion for you and your partner, like Valentine's Day, just to be romantic, it would be the very best if it wasn't at the same time as everybody else. No? I uh, got some sexy dice, and this uh, was the first roll. With clothes on, eat. <laughs> oh my god. I'm pretty kinky like that. <laughs> I do that every morning. Michelangelo, it's beautiful. But why is his dick so small? It isn't small? What? Wait, is it? Is it small? So, this is interesting because in, in Roman times, uh, they were ambiv ambivalent or maybe, like, from what I've read, they actually saw uh, big dicks. Uh, I did check it out right now. 
as a as a sign of uh, barbarism. It's very interesting. So this whole let's have a big dick all the time uh, is definitely not. Uh, it's just it's just current culture, I, I suppose. So interesting. There was a flood in Denmark, and a guy posted this on social media. A rat trap, or like a mice trap, uh, catching a fish. <laughs> Can you still eat that fish? Does this technique work? Because, like, the general technique is that you just have some food at the end of a hook. And that's probably an okay technique. Uh, well, for personal maybe joy fishing but like you know that that's not how most most fishes are caught just with a big boat or maybe farmed but the point here is can you just throw in a, a, a like this strap I guess it wouldn't be too too dissimilar from using a hook <gasps> yeah that would that would be probably bad but this could could work too holy shit <laughs> no the main advantage of this Imagine, uh, because with the hook, you need to be there, right? But with this, you don't need to be there. If, if you're just talking that you're just sitting there and you're just waiting for the fish to come and you, when the fish bites, you get the fish out already, might as well go with the hook. But imagine throwing in a bunch of traps with food on them and you just fuck off, you know, like fuck off, you do whatever. And you come back, and you pull out all the traps, and I fucking guarantee it, I can't, but I'm just gonna guarantee it anyway, that some of them will catch fish. And those fishes will be pretty fresh, because they were recently killed. I suppose if your point is to really want live fish, maybe, maybe they are not even killed. They could be just trapped, right? They could be just trapped. They are not necessarily dead. But they can't swim away. So this could be actually pretty good. Uh, this could revolutionize the fishing game. But I suppose the whole fishing game, like at this point, like if you're just fishing, that's just, just for joy. Like you're not doing it because like you're just a man and you're going to get some food on the table because that's kind of pointless uh, for that. But, you know, you can go fishing and, you know, and try this technique for fun. Everyone's talking about how disrupting... Uh, Disturbing sleeping with headphones is you forgot the suffering of people who wear glasses Yeah You guys don't know but I wore glasses Most of my life I don't wear them anymore. I don't have contact lenses. I, I had a um, Kind of a can it be called a surgery? I don't know if it's called a surgery. Well, basically they did something with my retina that kind of fixed my vision, but it's no guarantee and I might I can still uh my eyesight can still get worse and uh it did to an extent. But it's still okay. But it is a fucking major pain in the ass uh dealing with some uh, with, with uh, just glasses. It sucks. It really, really sucks. And I never understand those who uh, just use it as a fashion statement. Because, I, of course, if you use sunglasses, okay, they serve a purpose. They try to shield your eyes from the sun. And you also kind of look badass. But for any other purpose, it's just stupid. I don't know. It just, it just okay, like, ultimately, it's your choice. Like, And it's not super annoying, but at the same time, I just don't see the upsides of it. But I'm also a very practical guy. <laughs> like, this is actually just encouraging you to... When you go to fucking sleep... Or the, fuck. I'm just realizing something. If you have glasses, there's, there's a chance, I would say, that you exercise better sleeping habits. Because watching movies with glasses is fucking annoying. So, you watch movies... From a chair, or maybe from the bed, but you're like, you're not, with not, not a serious intention of sleeping. 
because you can fuck up your glasses and then you have like a, a half the day of like oh my god i gotta fix my glasses now or if you can even because you fucked them up while you were sleeping so not a fun time uh you only learn those lessons a very few times and uh and uh well once i would say but i actually had to learn it a few times uh to not do that that mistake again and uh yeah you're probably gonna exercise better sleeping habits because you go to sleep and like fuck now i'm sleeping and when you're not sleeping the glasses go on fuck now i'm not sleeping so for that extent uh it, i'm not gonna say it's beneficial but you know that's a clear distinction i suppose because now I just like maybe just hit the bed and like try to watch some movies and like you know and just nothing really happens you know if you really expect to uh, fall asleep <laughs> this this uh, picture looks super derpy <laughs> rip uh, glasses <clears throat> back in my day we treated old people like shit fuck you old man no one cares about you or the past <laughs> I guess. The kids are all right after all. <laughs> yeah, I heard some stories. Like it doesn't really matter. It's not about the age. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> My toddler picked out a super cool hot dog card for his favorite uncle. <laughs> Hope someone blows on your wiener today. <laughs> Holy shit! That's an amazing uh, card. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Holy shit. And he did it unintentionally. Fuck yeah. You can give me a card like that. Only, I only wish, kid. I only wish. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I should, uh, I should buy a, like a bunch of those cards and just give it to people. You know, I hate cards, but I love trolling, okay? Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Uh, see you next time.